Hey, this is Mirigloff, and this is the BGSF Minecraft temporary map for our server, and I am at Enderwood, and I'm going to show some stuff other than the main established towns. I'm going to take a quick look at this here. This is a memorial, the Enderwood memorial for when it was griefed. And now I'm going to jump to the next location, which is over there. And this is some sort of, uh, I believe this is supposed to be some kind of altar or shrine. This is Ashintosh's hut. And there's a bridge over here. And we'll fast forward to the next location. This here is Bone Monster's Mushroom Fort. Somewhat dangerous. Don't really know how he managed to get that mushroom right. As far as I know, you can't place mushroom blocks unless, unless you, I guess, spawned items. You might have spawned items. This is the inside, it's pretty cool. And he's got this dome terrace thing going on with leaves. And we'll go further, well, show this over here real quick. This is a little farming going on. Don't know what that lever does, I'm pretty sure it does nothing. Except for something of pistons, but anyways, I'm gonna quickly move on to even further into the wilderness. This is Martyr's home. I don't know if this is his main place. He's got a house and ravine hold. We also just found a another. NPC village, which we're calling Jumbuck, which is an Australian slang for sheep, because Justin Martyr has this thing for sheep. And it's a modest house. Private Uber. Isn't this supposed to be. Martyr's house, why is that sign there? Alright. And now down there is really interesting, so I'm gonna quickly skip to that. Alright. And I'm in this underwater dome. It's a little bit difficult to tell from here, it's underwater. Or maybe you can. I think this is Skuma's, only because in honor of Skuma. Uh, now here's another one of those switches. I don't think it does anything. A somewhat small house. But considering space is kind of limited in an area like this. Oh, it's been expanded a bit since I've last been on. Not by much, but... Unless... This is some kind of throne, I guess. There's a whole other spot right there with like a tree in it, but I don't know how to get in there. I think maybe... Uh, gee, I hope this doesn't... No, I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to mess with that. If I end up flooding it, it's going to be awful. And there's just one last thing to show that's off in this direction, as far as I'm aware of. And we'll skip to that.
Now, there's another one of these shrine things. Minus the chest, just a little shack there. And I can't tell if this is under construction or if it's been griefed. Uh, also, I don't understand this either. Some kind of uh, shroom cult thing going on. What I really like, though, <coughs> is, uh, sorry about that, is those right there. It's I've never even thought about the possibility of doing that. And that looks pretty cool. So compliments to whoever did that. And there's a little more in this direction. Off quite a ways in a swamp area, there's a cobblestone tower and a uh, caffeinated Jedi has a bayou style house on stilts. And I, I haven't explored in that direction yet. But uh, that's some of the stuff that's just hanging around off to the east of Enderwood, which is the spawn city. Oh boy. Spawn city. Well, this isn't very safe, is it? But uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. This is uh, just another touring of our temporary server. And thank you for watching.